The Voynich Manuscript is a mysterious book that has puzzled scholars, linguists, and cryptographers since its discovery. After its acquisition by Wilfred Voynich in 1912, the book was named after him, as he was a Polish-Lithuanian book dealer. Despite over a century of study, the manuscript's unknown language and cryptic illustrations defy all attempts of decipherment. Despite its unremarkable appearance, the Voynich Manuscript is one of the most intriguing and enigmatic artifacts in the history of human knowledge. Its contents have inspired countless theories, debates, and legends. Upon acquiring the book in 1912, Wilfred M. Voynich, a Polish-Lithuanian book dealer, brought it to the public attention, resulting in the book being named after him. The manuscript is a small, leather-bound book of 240 pages, measuring about 22 by 16 centimeters, and contains illustrations and text written in an unknown script and language. Manuscripts' origins and purpose are still unknown. It has been carbon dated to the early 15th century, and most scholars believe it was created in Europe during the Renaissance period. The book's text is highly unusual, consisting of a series of symbols and characters arranged in a complex writing system. Some characters resemble the letters of the alphabet, while others are unique. The script has yet to be deciphered, despite the efforts of many experts in cryptography and linguistics. The illustrations in the Voynich manuscript are equally puzzling. They include botanical drawings of plants that do not resemble any known species, astronomical charts and diagrams, and depictions of human figures engaged in strange activities. The illustrations are highly detailed and appear based on observations, but their meanings and context are unknown. The codex is divided into several sections, each with its unique style and subject matter. The first section mainly contains botanical illustrations, while the second includes astronomical charts and diagrams. The third section contains drawings of women, often nude, engaged in various activities such as bathing or cooking. The fourth section contains mostly text. Despite numerous attempts to decode the Voynich manuscript, it remains one of the most enduring mysteries in the history of literature and cryptography. Its unique combination of an unknown language, cryptic illustrations, and mysterious origins continues to fascinate scholars and amateur enthusiasts alike. Many theories have been proposed over the years about the purpose and origins of the Voynich manuscript. Some researchers believe it is a hoax or a purely artistic creation, while others suggest it was a practical text with a scientific or medical purpose. Some scholars believe the Voynich manuscript may be a botanical or medical knowledge compilation. This theory is supported by the many botanical illustrations in the manuscript and small drawings of naked women, which may be a reference to fertility and childbirth. Others believe the Codex is an astrological treatise based on the astronomical diagrams and charts found in the second section of the manuscript. The many references to stars, planets, and constellations support this theory. Some researchers suggest that it may be a sacred religious text, possibly connected to the Cathar heresy or another Gnostic movement. This theory is based on the many symbols and motifs in the scrolls that resemble these found in Gnostic texts, and the presence of naked women, which may represent the feminine divine. Some experts believe the Voynich manuscript is a cipher or code that requires a key to unlock its meaning. This theory is based on many unique characters and symbols that do not resemble any known language or script. One of its most notable features is the unknown language and script used in the manuscript, which has yet to be deciphered despite numerous attempts. The highly detailed and realistic illustrations found within the pages also add to their enigmatic nature, as their meaning and context remain a mystery. The Codex's materials are also highly unusual, with high quality parchment and ink containing ingredients not typically found in medieval manuscripts. Some researchers even speculate that it may have multiple encoding layers, adding to the challenge of deciphering its secrets. The manuscript was likely created during the Renaissance period, a time of great scientific and artistic discovery. The scroll's illustrations and subject matter reflect this era, with its botanical and astronomical references and depictions of human figures engaged in various activities. The manuscript may have been commissioned by a wealthy patron, possibly an alchemist or other esoteric practitioner or it may have been the work of a solitary artist or scholar. Despite the many theories and attempts to decipher the manuscript, its mysteries remain unsolved. One of the first recorded attempts to decipher the Voynich manuscript was made by William Romain Newbold, a professor of philosophy at the University of Pennsylvania. Newbold claimed to have discovered a complex cipher in the manuscript that revealed a hidden message about the author's identity 
and the document's purpose. However, this theory was widely discredited, as his methods were criticized for lacking rigor. Another early attempt was made by Leo Levitov, a Russian-American linguist who believed the manuscript was written in a constructed language similar to Esperanto. Levitov spent years analyzing the codex and creating his own constructed language to match it, but his efforts ultimately proved fruitless. In recent years, computer technology and cryptography advances have led to renewed interest in the codex and new attempts to decipher its contents. Some of the most notable efforts include Using a combination of intuition and linguistic analysis, Stephen Bax, a professor of applied linguistics at the University of Bedfordshire, made significant progress in deciphering parts of the book in 2014. He identified several words and phrases related to plants and other objects in the manuscript, leading him to propose that it may be a pharmacopoeia. In 2019, researchers at the University of Alberta utilized artificial intelligence to examine the manuscript. Their analysis revealed a language structure similar to Romance languages such as Spanish and Portuguese. Although this discovery is not definitive, it raises the possibility that the manuscript may be coded in a familiar language. The botanical and medical illustrations within the manuscript have drawn the attention of researchers seeking to decode its meaning. Some scholars have speculated that the plants depicted in the manuscript are of a new world origin, implying that the early explorers of the Americas may have produced the codex. Others have proposed that it might serve as a manual for herbal remedies, or perhaps even a medieval medical text. Despite the many attempts to decode the manuscript, its secrets have yet to be fully unlocked. Some researchers believe it may be a complex hoax to deceive or confound future generations. Others suggest its unique language and encoding may be impossible to crack, given human knowledge and understanding limitations. The mysterious manuscript has captured the public imagination for centuries and has been featured in numerous works of fiction, films, and television shows. One of the earliest fictional works to feature the Voynich manuscript was the 1899 novel The Valley of Fear by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. In the story, it is used as a key to unlock a hidden message about the identity of the novel's villain. In the 2004 novel The Rule of Four by Ian Caldwell and Dustin Thomason, the Voynich manuscript serves as the centerpiece of a mystery involving a group of students at Princeton University. The novel's plot revolves around the deciphering of the manuscript and the search for a hidden treasure. The Voynich manuscript has also made appearances in several films and television shows. In the 2003 film The Order, the manuscript plays a center role in the plot as a group of Catholic priests try to use it to locate the location of a powerful artifact. The manuscript has also been the subject of several documentaries and specials, including the 2011 National Geographic special, The Viking Deception, which explores the theory that Viking explorers created it. The Voynich manuscript has also been referenced in various forms of pop culture. In the 2019 song, Sanguine Paradise, by rapper Lil Uzi Vert, the lyrics mention the manuscript as a symbol of mystery and intrigue. Despite centuries of study and analysis, manuscript remains one of the world's most enigmatic and mysterious documents. Advancements in technology have revolutionized the field of manuscript studies in recent years, and the Voynich manuscript is no exception. In 2019, researchers used artificial intelligence and machine learning algorithms to study the code. They could identify patterns in the text that suggested it may be a form of encoded language. These developments may lead to breakthroughs in understanding the manuscript's contents. Given the complex nature of the book, Many scholars advocate for a multidisciplinary approach to studying it. Researchers can shed new light on its meaning and origins by combining expertise in linguistics, cryptography, art history, and botany. Collaboration among scholars and institutions is also the key to unlocking the secrets of the Voynich Codex. In recent years, initiatives such as the Voynich Manuscript Collaborative Transcription Project has brought together researchers from all around the world to transcribe and analyze the pages collectively. This collaborative approach has the potential to yield new insights into the manuscript's content. While many researchers focus on deciphering the text, others argue that studying its illustrations and physical properties may be just as important. By examining the manuscript's materials, binding, and pigments, scholars can better understand the cultural and historical context in which it was created. Voynich manuscript remains one of the greatest enigmas in art, history, and cryptography. Its mysterious content and intricate illustrations have puzzled scholars and researchers for centuries. And despite the countless attempts to decode it, 
the manuscript's secrets remain elusive. While the pages remain a mystery, the ongoing research and collaborations among scholars and institutions suggest that one day, we can unlock its secrets and understand its true significance. Until then, this mysterious piece of history will remain a symbol of the enduring human quest for knowledge and understanding. We hope you've enjoyed delving into the mysterious world of the Voynich Manuscript and learning about its intriguing history and potential interpretation. If you have any questions or thoughts about the video, please share them in the comment section below. Remember to subscribe to our channel for more captivating content like this. Thanks for watching, and we look forward to seeing you in our next video.